camel toe. For the operator. Viva Las Vegas. So, <clears throat> I have decided to leave my van in Lake Havasu. Um, it's sitting at a transmission shop. They uh, pretty much told me my transmission needs to be replaced. So, um, I've decided to get it replaced. Unfortunately, I'm going to be without it for a few months. These next few months were supposed to be for a van build, but it looks like it's going to be a van repair. So, it is what it is. Um, being on the road, you, you're going to run into this. Um, for me, when I get in those situations, I, uh, want, like I said, when, uh, when that lady in the Tesla hit me, you just have to stay calm and collected when things like this happen. Um, you know? Have a good attitude. Still be thankful. I'm very thankful uh, that I was at an RV park with my aunt and uncle. <coughs> Excuse me. They were able to drive me back and forth um, to the van and then to the transmission shop. They took me out for dinner a bunch of times and supper. So it was really nice to uh, to kind of settle down and spend time with family. But um, I wanted to get back home. Um, I, well, I need to get to Denver because I kind of need to work. Um, so these next few months, I'm gonna once I get back, kind of at the airport really early. But this is the only time I was able to kind of get a shuttle to Vegas. I got to sit around here for like eight hours. And uh, there's slot machines everywhere. Maybe I can win the money for and then just cancel and then go back and get a fix. No women, no women, no women. Um, <laughs> no, I said just, every time it's just I might as well just light dollar bills on fire than put them in the machines. So, um, so yeah, I have plenty of time. I'm gonna hang out here. I'm gonna see if I can find a corner somewhere and then maybe get some sleep. I don't know. This part of the hangar is kind of uh, they're cleaning it up, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be over here anyway. I'm walk around, see what's up. Got some food. I don't know, I'd really like to take a nap. I am kind of tired, I'm exhausted. I've got uh, a lot of stuff to do when I get back to Denver. So, I'm gonna keep you guys coming along though. That's what this whole channel is, is going to be about, is me pursuing goals and showing just exactly what uh, life kind of throws you at and I was not expecting it to kind of happen so soon <laughs> which you know uh, you know transmission so gonna get that fixed gonna get back on the road it's gonna be quick but uh, I'll show you I mean so I'm carless I'm an uber driver without a vehicle so I'm gonna show you guys uh, a way to get around that um, I'm gonna show you how to make some money and there is no excuse uh, if you're like, oh, well, I can't do this because of that, or, oh, I don't have a car, or, oh, blah, blah, blah. Nah, sorry. Those are just excuses. Build steps to eliminate your excuses hey, towards your goal. Jacqueline Howell, Jacqueline Howell. Please reach your party at Terminal 1, baggage claim, carousel 15. Jacqueline, come on. How are you going to lose? How are you going to lose your baggage? Go get that. How are you going to leave the airport without your baggage? Speaking of which, hold on, the airport. What? So I got to go through, you gotta, I got to take off all my clothes practically. I got to take out everything out of my bag. What? I, uh, come on. You know how easy it would be? It's just, then they bottleneck you and then like they put things by Paul, it just, they literally 
don't make sense, and I think they do it on purpose. Why would you do that? And why are there so many TSA agents? There were like literally like 30 of them just hanging out. I don't fly very often, and this is exactly why. It's such a hassle. We should have, you know, this is. It's been like this for too long. So while I'm here, I might do another video um, in regards to like I was talking about doing a video on RTR. I don't know if I have a clear enough head to really. Um, rem like I re I remember, but um, I just don't think I'm in a good headspace right now to like necessarily talk about the RTR. Um, it's been a it's been a long month. So uh, I'm excited to get back to Denver and just kind of clear the old noggin a little bit and do some things that just where I'm able to de-stress. So, uh, which is a huge thing. I recommend if you have something that de-stresses you, um, hold on to that tight and repeat it. Because <laughs> stress is the enemy. So, you know. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do another video here pretty soon along the lines of RTR and then a couple of videos on how to make some money if you're in a position where you uh, find yourself stuck or find yourself you don't have any options, there's always options. So, and I'm going to show you guys. This is, that's why I've started this, this vlog, this YouTube nonsense is um, I feel as if there's a lot of people on YouTube that don't necessarily show the real world show real life so this is a, a dose of just life at you so um, stay tuned should be fun should be interesting airports hey be thankful love life um, no matter what position you are in, and in any situation, you just got to remember that uh, someone out there has probably got it a little, uh, a little worse. And uh, don't take your life too serious, but also take it serious. <laughs> uh, but till next time, do you? Peace.